<laughs> Hello, welcome everybody, right, to another Facebook Friday, another Frilici Friday. I am Amy Frilici, and we are here to have some more fun as always. Today, we have some great products that we're going to be playing with. It's almost the end of celebration. I can't even believe it. Hello, Teresa. It feels like it just started. Two months has gone by very, very quickly. So we are going to be playing today. Hi, Mary. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. I, this is my last chance to play and share with you guys some uh, celebration products. So today, we are going to be playing with, this is called the Sunny Days. Bonnie, hello and welcome. Uh, the Sunny Days Designer Series Paper. So let me kind of fan this out here for you guys. Lots of fun, bright, kind of springy floral prints on one side. So here's one side of, again, this is, let me make sure I'm calling it the right thing. Yes, the Sunny Days. All of a sudden I was like, is that what it's called? So Sunny Days Designer Series Paper. So there's one side. And then some maybe more muted tones on the back side. We've got like some petal pink and some pool party and some crushed curry. Monica, hello, welcome. I hear you're off work today, which is so fun, huh? Congratulations on no work on a Friday. Uh, yeah, and then so this side, bright, bold. So we've got shaded spruce and poppy parade, some cute little cherries, just the beautiful floral imagery. So we're gonna play with this pack of paper today along with this fun, I love, this is such a cute stamp set. I've used this a bunch already. Haven't really used the dies, but definitely been loving the Hooray for Surprises stamp set. I think it's just all the fun imagery and then obviously the sentiments in here. So we've got hooray can't wait to see you you are simply amazing hope your birthday is wonderful sending you lots of love make a wish you're the best and then these other ones aren't going to make sense until you look at like it's kind of a little um like pull tab kind of thing so there's one that says open here and one that says pull so it's kind of it's like uh like I said, I've got to play with the dies, but I've been loving the sentiments in here. And then just like I said, all the fun, like this is such a cute image, isn't it? The heart with the flowers inside. So that's what we're going to be playing with today. I, of course, have lots and lots to share with you guys. Uh, so let's see. So as I mentioned celebration there's just one week left so today's friday you've got through next thursday we have an extra day in february this month we have a leap year so through next thursday february 29th is the last day that you can get free stuff so even if you think you've gotten maybe everything you want which i don't even know how that's possible but um for example if you've gotten what you think is everything that you want out of the annual or mini catalog don't forget you might as well <laughs> yes for the long weekend and some fun crafting awesome miss monica um yeah so why not just put an order in for basics like cardstock, adhesives, envelopes, uh, anything, you know, those basic things that you always need that, hello, Susan, aren't necessarily like, you know, there's not as exciting to order, but they're like the basics that you have to have to make your projects, right? Um, even the tools like the scoring, um, the scoring tool, the paper piercing, like the mat that I always use to stamp on, the rubber, the silicone mat that I use to do, put my adhesive on so I don't get adhesive all over my new stamping glass mat, or maybe my grid paper or whatever I'm working on. Uh, the chamois is another great thing. So any of those basic things that maybe are a little bit more boring, I guess I would say, buy them now because you can get free stuff. And don't forget that Stampin' Up! came out with more new free stuff. So for example, <clears throat> I just got, because I had not even ordered these yet, and these colors have been out for a while, right? Like I think it was last year we went through the little color renovation, but these are the markers, the new core color markers. So I got this awesome pack of markers. I don't even know the value. It's probably like, uh, I don't know, $30 value. I got this for free with a $100 order because this is one of the add-ons, one of the additional things that Stampin' Up! has uh, put into the celebration offering. So make sure you check that out. The the easiest, like the best way is just go to stampinup.com and click on celebration. Um, I think it's under promotions or something like that. Um, so just click on that and you can see everything you can get for free with a $100 order and also free with a $50 order. Like I said, these markers, the new core color markers are free with a $100 order. But 
again, stock up, which is exactly what I did. I stocked up on basic weight cardstock, thick weight cardstock, adhesive, because I always use a bunch myself and people are always calling and saying, Amy, do you have some adhesive? I need, I need some adhesive. Um, and envelopes. I always go through a million envelopes too. So stock up on those things and get freebies. You've got a week left to do that, right? Um, oh, okay. So Miss Teresa is on here too. And I have to share, she sent the cutest little Valentine tree. And I didn't, so she sends her swaps and I put them aside to get, um, like basically go through when I prep for my team meeting. And so I didn't even open this until after Valentine's Day, but it is so stinking cute. So I love the little heart, or I guess the little um, bow, I guess I should say, the little red bow on that swirly lollipop. And then she used some of this is that most adored, the Celebration Designer Series paper that's got the gold accents on the other side. So that's another thing you can still get for free with your $50 order. And then the cute little bumblebee. And I love it's like the pinks and the reds that of course coordinate perfectly with the paper. And then she even decorated the back of it too. So she's got the little happy Valentine's Day. Like I just think this is absolutely adorable. So thank you, Miss Teresa. And I was just bummed that I, like I said, I don't even know why I do that. I just get it. And I said, I should like, oh, fun box in the mail, right? I should open it right away. So note to myself for next month, Teresa, I will be opening your, your box right away. Cause I love to see your swap cards too. She does beautiful stamping as well. So that kind of leads me into, <laughs> yeah, yes. Thank you. Thank you, Teresa. Uh, should mention we have the starter kit deal, right? So Teresa is one of our inspired stampers. Uh, she got the starter kit. It wasn't um, during celebration right now, but during a prior uh, promotion, a prior um, starter kit promotion. So she is part of our inspired stampers team. So she swaps with us. She's out in New Jersey. Obviously I'm here in Michigan. So she puts her swaps together, mails them to me. I take them to our team meeting, the local meeting that we have that we also do on Facebook live. So she can watch it um, from New Jersey or any of my team members from wherever you might be in the country. You can participate in the team meetings, in the swapping. You can make swaps and mail them to me. So I swap them out with everybody and send them back to her and anybody else that participate. So it's so fun to be a part of things, even long distance. And I was kind of asking that um, on our team meeting, you know, if people feel connected or maybe it was on our last Facebook live. I can't, I can't even remember, but I definitely have a number of team members that will watch the Facebook lives and they all feel even from a distance uh, connected to each other. So hello, Susie. Welcome. Welcome. She's another Inspired Stampers team member as well. So I think I totally digressed here. I'm like, well, I guess I'll keep kind of well, I show you guys I've got, yeah, I'm like, I'm already off on a tangent. Now I'm like all mixed up. Like, okay, I should be following my notes in order, right? But it kind of felt natural to talk about um, our team meeting. So I think I want to show you guys um, the rest of the stuff because we just had our team meeting was last uh, Tuesday. So it's always the third Tuesday. Or was it just this week? It was just this week. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've been working a ton, and so my brain is a little bit fried right now. So yeah, I'm like, what day? I know it's Friday because we're doing Facebook Friday for Lychee Friday, but it was just Tuesday this week that we had our team meeting. So let me grab, because I want to show you guys um, <clears throat> the make and takes that we made and the swaps that we made. And I want to find my catalog here because I need to look up the name of this kit because it's totally... Uh, it's blanking out me on me. Yeah, so that it's we used hello, Miss Stacy Decker. Hello, hello, how are you? So we used the it's the Sweet Thoughts Memories and More card pack for our make and takes this month. So everybody got a half a pack of the Memories and More card pack, and I'll show you what we made with those in just a sec. They also got uh, five yards of, this is the Pretty Peacock and Gold Metallic Ribbon, and then they got kind of a partial pack of the Rainbow Dots, and we used all of those things on our make and takes. So let me show you. This is one of the make and takes. So I love, they came with a bunch of stickers this time too. So it was six sheets of stickers. So everybody got three sheets of stickers. So this is actually this big butterfly is a sticker. I just popped it up on dimensionals. And then that is one of the card uh, pack pieces. So they come in either three by four or they also come in four by six. So we had to cut this one down. The note cards and envelopes are a little bit longer. So this big card base, the four by six fits right on 
um, or this card fits right on the card base. If you do it on cardstock, we have to cut it down a little bit, but still beautiful, right? And that's another one of the cards. And then um, the little butterflies there, can you see kind of, that's like a little, I don't know, brass or it's not gold. I'm going to say maybe brass anyway. And then we added some of the little dots. So here's another one with some more ribbon and some more dots. And that's a full card that we cut down again to four by five and a quarter and put it on a thick white card base. We've got this fun one, and these layouts are so easy. You could make, hello, Mr. Mike, how are you? Can't wait to see you later today. Um, so yeah, this one we use like a four or three by four. We use two of them, and this is cool. You could you could make a bunch of these with these two pieces, make one going this way. So what is that, horizontal and one going vertical? Um, and they would all look different because obviously the patterns and what they say on them are all very different. Here's another, this beautiful butterfly, right? With this one says, happy birthday. That's a cute little birthday card, right? <laughs> Good, Susie. I'm glad you made them. Hello, Lisa uh, from Phillips. Lisa, is that Phillips? Remind me, is that in Wisconsin? I'm trying to remember because now I'm like drawing a blank on where Phillips is. So let me know, right? Okay, so this is another fun one where we um, embossed. We used that um, celebration, the Softly Sophisticated. I don't know if you can see that, the embossing folder, and then another card. And you just layer. So one of the cards from the Memories and More card pack, Wisconsin, yes, there you go. Okay, awesome. Um, and then you just layer it on a three and a quarter by four and a quarter piece. So super simple. Great, here's another one. Same idea where we layered another piece of uh, cardstock embossed. I think maybe that might have been the poppies embossing folder. And then another card from the card pack with a three and a quarter by four and a quarter black piece with some ribbon and some little gems. So those were the make and takes. And then you can go home and make a million more because you still have a bunch more um, card pieces from the card pack. And I actually... Um, I can't show you my top five sales cards because I made them all with additional card pieces from that Memories and More card pack and mailed them all out. So I forgot I didn't keep one because I made different ones. Usually I make the same one and send the same one to everybody, but I didn't have duplicates of anything. And I thought, oh, how fun. I just want to keep making. And what I loved was, so these all for the most part either have um, a pretty peacock base or a thick white base. And the ones I sent to my top five sellers actually had the Calypso coral base. So they look totally different, I think, from um, the make and takes too. I also send my, my um, anyone that sells over $600 in a month. Oops, I did not pull that out properly. <laughs> I have a partial pack of, these are the, let me make sure I'm calling, yes, the iridescent pastel gems. So I sent a full not used pack to anyone that sold over $600 gets into our $600 club for the month. So I always send a fun embellishment. Yes, the colors are beautiful in that kit, of course, because Stacy loves uh, pretty peacock. I was gonna say parakeet party. I'm like, that's not it. Yes, Stacy's one of her favorite colors, uh, pretty peacock and lost lagoon. Very beautiful greeny blue colors. Um, but yeah, so anyway, if you decide to buy the starter kit through me and sell over $600 in a month, you get rewarded, probably make it into the top um, five and get a cute card for me as a congratulations, and then get a fun prize for making it into the $600 club. We also do, and I think I'm going to have to show you guys, I might... Maybe I'm, I was thinking I might make a video or something because this is a super cute little, this was our mystery project that we made and it's actually um, like a little bag, which I think um, you could fit cards and envelopes in here too. So it's a cute little gift bag um, with that fun sentiment, you mean the world to me. And then of course I had to use, because I've been using these like crazy, pretty sure you're going to see them on one of our um, cards that we're going to make in just a little while, but these are a bunch of, Anna, hello and welcome. These are a bunch of dies from the Notes of Nature uh, bundle that I'm using in my class to go. So fun little uh, mystery project. Basically, I give them dimensions, everything that they need to know to make the project, and then uh, we actually put the project together. So I always say the mystery is solved. Like, look at, this is our, this is our mystery project right here. So usually it's a card, but I kind of changed things up and went with a little uh, cute little gift bag this month so then we also do our swapping so let me show you guys we have these are our swaps this one is from Sharon Greening and I love I do not have these dies yet but I've seen people using them like crazy 
And then also with that stop, softly stippled, so that uh, designer series paper you can get for free uh, with your $50 order during celebration. This is another beautiful one. This is from Nancy Gulick, and she used that Flight and Airy designer series paper. And actually that one is too. So I love that. So kind of this looks similar to one of our make and takes, right? Only she did it with designer series paper instead of cards from our card pack. This one is from Susie Meecumber, who is watching with us right now. Hi, Beth. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Uh, so yes, this is beautiful. This is the, um, it's not flight and airy. Is it light, lighter than air, I think? So with the hot air balloon paper, so cute. And the baker's twine that coordinates. And then, yep, she did use some of the little rainbow dots on there also. So beautiful. So many Greek cards. This is from Sunday Ostrander. This is some of that meandering meadow. She might have won that at our last team meeting, um, but that beautiful designer series paper. So you can see, you probably want to participate in swapping if you become a member of our Inspired Stampers team member, because you could go home with all of these super cute cards too. This one is from, uh, I believe it was from Jenny Boffman, um, and it's got the little belly band on it too. So if, let's see. I think anyway if we slide this down yeah so if we slide that down I think I just didn't have it quite right and then this will open up isn't that cool and then she's got the little angles on there also so super cute card and then lastly Miss Teresa Hinchman this was her super duper cute we're totally going to be casing this card uh Teresa I think we'll probably be making it our card class our simple beautiful card class in March because I have the stamp set and the punch and I haven't done anything with it yet and this is totally inspiring me it's so cute like it's all just a bunch of stamping right but doesn't it look so darn cute so thank you ladies for participating in the swaps so buy the starter kit ladies and you can get to enjoy all of this fun goodness as well hello miss charlene she's another inspired stamp first team member and generally comes to the meetings and swaps with us so she would have gotten all those beautiful swaps as well so again um you have just one week left to get the starter kit to get that awesome stamp and glass mat studio uh you get to pick 125 dollars in product and get that stamp and glass mat studio for free uh you pay only 99 dollars plus sales tax if you don't need the stamp and glass mat studio you get to pick $155 in product and pay only $99 plus sales tax so the shipping fee is waived <coughs> uh oh getting a tickle in my throat let me grab some water while I scoot these back over out of my way mm -hmm. and I'm looking to see no mint today I have chocolate though because <laughs> I have some more fun stuff to show you. I'm going to flip the camera down and I'll show you those things in a little bit, but I basically pilfered all the chocolate out of these cute little treat boxes because uh, I was like really needing some chocolate the other day and I was like, oh, I know I have all these cute treat boxes that probably have snacks in them, some candy. So mm -hmm. I'm going to show you those in just a little bit. Um, okay, so what else do I want to share with you guys? Oh, I know one day retreat we're having our one day retreat if you're local if you're anywhere in Michigan come hang out with us for the day so it is on Saturday let me make sure I have the right date yes Saturday April 20th right here in Alma at the Peace Lutheran Church which is where I hold all my classes and events 9 a.m to 9 p.m it's a great day I've had so many fun people sign up already there's always room for more it's a big wide open space lots of windows there's always nature because we're kind of it's in a little like the back is very woodsy so you're gonna see some deer maybe some turkeys some birds who knows there's yeah it's just like a beautiful natural um environment and just very calm and relaxing um to do your stamping and crafting and whatever you want to do um bring whatever projects that you have to work on i will have make and takes for everybody always lots of things out on display for you guys to see like you know inspiration things that you could make copy case whatever you want to call it um what else oh i feed you all day long it's just the greatest day ever so i'd love to have you come hang out with us more details the link um to sign up is will be above the details of this facebook live video after i get it posted this afternoon okay if you have any questions about the one day retreat please let me know Okay. Uh, the other thing I wanted to let everybody know was bingo. I had to reschedule. I guess I picked a bad date. I only had a handful of people sign up and it basically wasn't enough people to run a bingo because I have to have so many people. So I have so much money to spend to get prizes. 
Um, and so I was like, okay, I just picked a bad day. Everybody's kind of February still worried about um, roads and weather. And we've had a pretty mild, like I'm going to knock on, <laughs> seriously knock on something, right? Because um, we have, a, have had a pretty mild winter. Um, but at any rate, so I rescheduled. We are doing bingo. Let me make sure I have the right date on this. It is Wednesday, April 10th at 6 p.m. Again, a local event right here in Alma. If you're interested, so the people that did sign up, I checked with them. They all said, yep, April 10th is good. That was my first priority. Make sure they can still come and then open it up and anybody else that would like to come. It's $30. It's so cheap. We play a bunch of bingo games. We make cards. And we just have a hoot. It is so fun. So come hang out with us, play bingo. You win Stampin' Up! product for your prizes. It is totally, totally awesome. Um, bup, 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 what else? Celebration, celebration. I've been posting um, who has earned their spot. So keep in mind, you still have one week left to earn your spot as well. So let's see, how do you earn your spot? Buy the starter kit. You uh, you automatically earn your spot at the Celebration Celebration event. If you spend over $150 through me, you earn your spot. And if you hold a private party or class, which probably time has run out to be able to get that scheduled because it's next Thursday is the last day, but you've still got those two chances. I emailed if you're um, close at all to earning your spot. You know, if you've ordered something but haven't quite gotten to that $150, I did send email out if you're not sure where you're at please let me know. Also, my team members, if they promote or get three or more recruits, they also get to come to Celebration Celebration. So I would love to have as many people as possible. Basically, it's a fun event. We're going to be holding it on Tuesday, April 2nd. Be right here in Alma, also at the Peace Lutheran Church. Uh, basically, I spoil, spoil you. It's a fun, free event. We have make and takes. I have games and prizes and snacks. Buy one, get one free sale. So it's just lots and lots of fun. A great way to say thank you for supporting me and my Stampin' Up! business, especially during celebration. Plus, why wouldn't you? Because you get free stuff too, right? Again, one week left for free stuff with your order, okay? Um... I think we are ready. We're going to draw for, what are we drawing for? The purple fine shimmer gems are we going to, is what we're going to draw for today. Beautiful, beautiful gems. They've got like kind of three different shades of purple. They coordinate with just about everything. You got your name in this little basket right here. Here are all the ways. I got to look at my list because I'm still, I'm still learning too, right? So chances to win. This is how you get your name in the basket. Share this video to your personal pace, Facebook page or five entries if you share it to a crafting group you're a part of. If you share my latest class to go kit post, any of them that I put on here on our Facebook group, if you share that post, you get your name in the drawing. If you comment on, so what you're gonna need to do is comment on all of the posts because I pick one random post before each Facebook Live and that random post, any comments that are made on that, your name goes in the drawing. If you post a picture of a project you've made here to our Facebook group, as many projects as you post, that's how many times your name goes in the drawing or if you sign up for my email list. So lots and lots and lots of great ways to get your name in the basket right here to win. What did I do? I set the other. Oh, no, they just are blending in. I'm like, where'd they go? Uh, that's how you get your name in the drawing. All those great ways. So whatever you like, whatever way you want to get your name in the drawing, that's what you do. Uh, so one lucky winner. I'm always so like conscientious about trying to make sure that these things are not stuck together. So I need everyone to have a fair chance of this. Okay, so they're all they're all pulled apart now. I can tell, right? One lucky person, Miss Debbie Green. All right, congratulations, Debbie. You are the winner of the purple fine shimmer gem. So I will get these sent out to you. And congratulations. Okay. All right, there we go. Oh boy. All that bending over, right? Okay, next, on our next Facebook Live, which, okay, so deep breath, right? I'm going to be gone for a little bit. I was just looking at the calendar for March trying to kind of get prepped because I know, so I'm out of town for like the first 10 days in March, come back for like two and a half days, and then go down to Houston for the onstage convention uh, for Stampin' Up!, 
and then I'm back. Like, I think it's already like the middle of the month. It's like, or later, it's like later than that. So anyway, my point is like, I am gone for a few Fridays. So our next Facebook Live, when is that? Did I write it? Yes, I did. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so it's actually like, it's not, it's the next three Fridays I'm off. So the first, eighth and 15th, I'm out of town all of those Fridays. So the next Facebook Live is gonna be on Friday, March 22nd. So it's gonna feel like forever and I feel the same way. I'll still be posting regularly on our Facebook group so we'll still be in touch. But my point in telling you that is, it'll be a little bit. So you've got lots of time all of these ways are right here and i'm posting this on our facebook group as well all of those great ways to get your name in the drawing to win these are the 2022 2024 in color pearls okay so you'll have lots and lots of chances your name will go in that drawing i'll do that drawing on our next facebook live on friday march 22nd uh, in the meantime, I also want to make sure you guys know because this is something that always comes up about this time of year these are the ink colors that are retiring, you guys. So you can't even see them very well. I just happen to have my paper right back here. So let's just pull, I'm gonna pull these cardstock packs out. I should have done this earlier and I did not think about that, but that's all right. Am I missing one? I feel like there's, oh, I don't have the green, there it is. Okay, parakeet party. Okay, so these are the colors that are retiring, ladies. It's sad, like these are such, bright, bold, beautiful colors. And I am bumming because, so here's Parakeet Party. Actually, maybe we'll flip it that way, right? So Parakeet Party, Tahitian Tide. Uh, this one is Starry Sky. We have Sweet Sorbet and Beautiful, the Orchid Oasis. So those are all of the colors, again, that are retiring. So make sure you get what you want in these colors. Like if there's a certain color or maybe all of them, I love all of these. Order more cardstock now before the retiring lists come out. Yes, Sweet Sorbet is beautiful, isn't it, Anna? It is, yes. And it's it's like a little bit more muted um, poppy parade, I guess is how I feel. So I think you can kind of interchange them, but I, I think I do like that one maybe a little bit better than poppy parade too. Um, but at any rate, so if you, if you don't have what you need or what you want or you're loving some of these colors, order your cardstock, right? Do it right now because then you get free celebration stuff too, right? So order your cards stock. Get your ink refills for your ink pads. If you invested in the ink pads, don't run out of ink and not be able to re-ink them, right? So get your ink pads. If you don't have the markers or the blends, the ribbon, um, what else? There's Baker's Twine. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Anyway, but just make sure you get these in colors now while you can and before the retiring lists come out. So they did just announce, so we go down to Houston for the Stampin' Up, um, the onstage convention. Um, that is like March 14th through the 16th or something like that. Um, anyway, so then on Monday, March 18th is the day that the digital catalog comes out online and also that the retiring product lists come out. So all of these colors are gonna be on the retiring product list, right? So make sure you get them. Do it now before those lists are announced because not everybody's thinking about it. So you guys have like the heads up before a lot of people are even thinking about getting these things. So, and again, do it now because it's celebration and you get free stuff too, right? Okay, so we're gonna just put those things back there. Um, but that was all kind of, <laughs> it all started with, this is what we're gonna give away on our next Facebook Live. Those cute little, they're beautiful, the beautiful um, in color pearls. Okay, mm, 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 mm. I think, let's see, because we talked about, yeah, we talked about the uh, last chance list. I showed all that meeting stuff. Yeah, I'm like, I jumped all around, so okay. Um, <laughs> Thank you for your reviews too. I've had a couple of people um, put reviews on my Stampin' Up! website. So all you have to do is go to, it's my first and middle name. I don't know why I didn't put my last name. It was way, it was like way, way, way back when. So it's Amy and then my middle name is Suzanne. 
So A-M-Y-S-U-Z-A-N-N-E dot stampin' up dot net. If you go to my website, you can scroll down. It's on the very front, like homepage, scroll down to the bottom, click write a review, write, write beautiful, flowering, flowy, wonderful things. And I'll love you forever, first of all. And then second of all, you get your name in a fun drawing. Um, I'm going to do that. I got to think about when I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to keep it open for a little while longer. Um, oh, Yes, Anna, I know. She's saying she's bummed that she's not going to go to on stage. Uh, what are you saying? I, I think you're saying something about maybe you'll live Victoria <laughs> vicariously. Yes. Yeah. So we'll be posting lots. So yes, my friend Stacy Decker, who I think is still, well, she said hello. I don't know if she's still watching or not. I never can tell like who's actually still on. I just see when you first pop on. Um, and then other team members, Sharon Greening and Jenny Boffman are also going. So we're all going to be down in Houston, having some fun, seeing the new catalog. Yay. We'll get that before anybody else does. We'll get to see the new in color. So I'm super excited about what are those going to be, right? Um, and then see like just other fun products from the new annual catalog that'll be coming out. So that's May 1st is when the new annual catalog starts. Um, but yeah, it's going to be so much fun. So lots of good stuff like this whole, I feel bad that I'm going to be away, but I'm also super excited for all the fun things that I'm going to be seeing and doing. So hi, Philomena. Welcome, welcome. So Mike and I are... <laughs> Yes, Stacy, she's just still here. Very excited for her first on stage. Yes. Oh, I was selling it big time to Miss Stacy at our Craft Orama a couple weeks ago. I'm like, it's so much fun. It is so great. And I haven't been to one in a while. Um, we went to the local one. I guess that was like last oh, a little over a year ago in November uh, down in Indianapolis. But that was a small, like regional kind of a thing. So much different than the full blown, like everyone comes from all over the country and even all over the world. Um, although it's it's held somewhere else too in Europe. I can't even remember where, because that's definitely too expensive to go to Europe, right, for on stage. So Houston was enough. Um, but yeah, it's going to be so great. So they're definitely looking forward to that. Um, okay, so yeah. Write a review, okay? And I'll, we're gonna do, um, yeah, we're gonna do some kind of a drawing. I probably end of March, beginning of April is what I'm thinking. I haven't, <laughs> I'm afraid to say a date because then I'll forget that I told what I told you guys. Um, and so we're gonna keep it kind of loosey goosey, but we're gonna keep it open for a little while longer. So write a review, pretty, 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 please, and you could win a fun prize, okay? Um, <clears throat> all right, let me just, I got all these papers on my, table here, but I think we talked about it, all of this. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, um, so I think we are ready, because I want to flip the camera down and show you guys some more stuff, but I think we're ready to do our drawing. Thank you for the share too, Miss Philomena. Good share. Her name is in here every single time we do a Facebook Live. I haven't drawn your name in a while though, have I, Philomena? It's weird how that... I don't know. Some people have better juju in these drawings than others, I think. I don't know what it is, how that works, how you get good juju, because I don't think I have it either. Uh, okay, but so speaking of good juju, right, I've got names in here. Yes. Yeah, so we are going to do our next drawing. This is for your online orders. And I first of all have to say, I have five whole names in here. You guys probably think that is so silly. Hi, Bonnie. Thank you for sharing as well. I appreciate that. She shares every every Facebook Live too. Um, but I do have to say, like I said, thank you so much. I usually get one, maybe, maybe, maybe sometimes not even any orders, one, maybe two orders. I have five whole orders, five names in here. And I'm like, I was so excited last night when I was prepping for Facebook Live. I'm like, oh, I get to put five names in here. So you guys, I mean, it's, it's kind of silly, right? So, but it is, it's silly, but not, right? Because I'm so grateful for every single order that you guys throw my way that you put in through me using the host code. So I truly appreciate that. But also to say, your odds are still so good at winning. Oh, I give away so much good stuff. So it's my way of saying thank you. And also my way of being able to continue to do the Facebook Lives too, right? Um, that's what kind of keeps me able to keep doing this as my part-time job, essentially, is your orders coming in. So thank you so much for your orders. As a thank you for your order, you are going to, oops, oh, that little guy fell off there. That blue dot must not be working very well. Okay, let me put that back on there. My little bow fell off. But you're going to get the projects that I demonstrated on our last Facebook Live. So we have, have that fun fold card that says, you're in my thoughts. <coughs> and then also the fun little hello there. And then this is the one that we kind of scored on the diagonal. And then that, is it going to stay? 
There we go. Yep. And then we've got, I appreciate you on there, right? So definitely as my thank you, you get both of the cards that I demonstrated on our last Facebook live. You also get to pick from, this is for any order over $50. You get to pick from the demo design dream team PDF tutorial or the free embellishment, which are the rainbow dots. So pick either one of those. And your name is in the drawing right now to win this super duper cute, the carnival treats stamp set. So here we go. We're going to shake around. So all five names, you have a one in five chance of winning this stamp set. So thank you again for your orders. Okay. So one lucky winner. Who is it going to be? We have, okay. I think I have two in my hand. I got to make sure I only have one. Okay. Yep. Only one, right? Ha! Huh. Miss Judy Doyle. I'm always so excited for whoever wins. Thank you so much, Judy, for your order and congratulations on winning the Carnival Treats stamp set. So I will get that sent out to you. All right. Um, let's see, we're going to put this down here and that can go there. So on our next Facebook Live, which is again on Friday, March 22nd. So it's going to be a bit, okay? But we will be giving away the excellent, right? Yes, excellent eggs stamp set. So such a cute stamp set, just in time for Easter. So we've got the thinking of you, happy Easter, there's no bunny like you, and hello spring. So great for Easter or great for spring, right? So we've got the beautiful little egg imagery and the little bunny there as well. So this is what we'll give away on our next Facebook Live with your online orders, which I'm gonna give you that host code in just a moment when we flip the camera down. All right, I'm going to do one more quick double check. I guess if I forgot to tell you guys anything, I can tell you. Even after I flip the camera down, right? I don't know. I'm having a hard time reading my own writing, too. Can you believe that? I mean, I can believe it because it's kind of scribbly. And I'm always like, oh, I got to add one more thing. in." so then I write in super. I really want to put my glasses on. Yeah, I'm going to put my glasses on so I can actually read here. Okay, so hold on one sec. Um, yep, we talked about that, 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 that. All right, I think, I'm trying to do this super fast. Yep, I think we're good. Oh, you know what else though? I forgot, I'm doing a spring, <laughs> yes, yeah, spring break special. Forgot about this. So in addition to your name going into the drawing for the Excellent Eggs stamp set, you're gonna get the two cards that I'm gonna demonstrate in just a little while. You're gonna get the PDF tutorial and the free embellishment. You don't have to pick, you're gonna get both of them. And you're also gonna get five free cards, five free handmade cards. This is all basically because I'm gonna be gone for a little while and I was like, oh, I wanna make sure to say thank you for not forgetting about me while I'm gone, right? And continuing to put your online orders in. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, spring break special, lots of extra freebies for your online orders. Just a $50 order is all you need to do. You can certainly do more than that. Um, although if you do much more, if you do more like a $100 order, you might as well get the starter kit because you get more stuff than you could um, just with your regular order, right? Plus you get 20% off of all of your orders after that too. So great, great, great deal. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna scoot this stuff. Back here, I've got everything, oops, all like piled up everywhere. Okay, so turn your heads away. We are flying through the air. I'm gonna flip the camera down. And is that, I'm sure that's not there. Okay, I think we're gonna be all right. Okay, all right, so I need to move this so I know where you guys are. I kind of like to use scoot that over a little bit there there those are the feet right yes okay so we can see hello miss diane welcome welcome thanks for joining us mm. okay had to get a little bit of water so this is the host code we're going to use the u6vw7znn this is what you'll want to use to get um your name in the drawing for the spring break special okay um, oh, I know. This is what I'm going to show you guys. craft o -rama, bags and treats. So this was one that my good friend Stacy Decker, who's going to on stage with me, she made. Look, at, isn't this such a cute bag, right? Love that with the little um, silver wrapped twine on the inside, the cute little polka dotty bow, and that beautiful daisy paper. I forgot to bring down, she gave me this super cute, um, she said it was supposed to be like an ornament for your Christmas tree. Um, it's a little, 
It's a little car. It's like a little Michigan car. And the license plate says hail on the back because you guys all know I'm a huge University of Michigan fan. And Stacy and I went to school there. Um, that's where we met was at, in Ann Arbor um, at U of M. So anyway, she made this cute little gift bag and then put her little gift in it. And it was just, it's so cute. So I'm going to have to take a picture and share that with you guys sometime soon. Um, in the meantime, what else? Oh, well, let's go with the whole Michigan theme. <laughs> she like sponged, I think is what she said. Um, this cute little, and these are, what are these called? I think, do I have these? No, where did I move them? I had them somewhere handy now I can't remember. But they are, let's see if you can, we can find them in the catalog. Oh yeah, look, I just happened to have it open. These are the square pillow boxes right here. So if you guys can see, so she sponged this one, probably in crushed curry. I feel like that's kind of the yellow that's close enough to like the maize from the maize and blue. And I don't know where she, where she said she got these. They're not stamping up, I don't believe, um, but I love this. So she's got the go and blue and the hail and the number one. And then they just had their 1000th football uh, victory. So, and then, yeah, nothing on the bottom there too. But there was some kind of a treat in here that's already been eaten. I can't even remember what it was. Maybe a... Um, a Reese's egg, <laughs> I'm thinking, something like that. But this is going to have to go up in my M den also. Um, I've been waiting to show you guys, and now I can take it upstairs to my M den, right? Um, okay, well, <laughs> I'll show you this. I think Stacy made this one also because she was loving playing with all the little critter things. So basically, we just sit around and craft all weekend and make cute treats um, for each other and Oh, oh, thank you, Stace. Okay, she says these are the playful alphabet retired dies. But okay, so they were stamping up. Good job, Stace. You never know, right? Um, I don't use anything that's not stamping up, but I know other people do on occasion, which is okay. Um, I just always say I have enough to play with. I don't need to go find anything anywhere else. Um, but this, this had a nutty buddy in it, but that got eaten too. <laughs> but love the, um, these are the, I think they're called the everyday details dies with some super shimmery paper. And then that cute little, um, that's a kitty cat, right? Holding the um, little flower pot. So cute, right? So let's see, more empty boxes. <laughs> this was the box that actually inspired my club member tree. I think I showed you guys, I think I showed you, did I show you this? I don't know, I can't even remember, right? But so this box was inspired by our friend Jennifer, who made this beautiful box, right? I love, this is some of that ribbon you can get for free during celebration. And then this is a bunch of the painted lavender suite of stuff, right? So the paper, actually, those are the gems you can get for free too during celebration. She's got this, you are simply marvelous with a little postage stamp and then some of the dies there too. But so I basically was like, oh, that's a really cute box, Jennifer. I'm going to make those for my team member or my um, club members also. And okay, so I'm just like piling everything up here. We'll get rid of it in a sec. Um, lots of bee stuff. The little bees, this is probably one of the most popular sweets that we have in the mini catalog. So super duper cute. She used this little clip with that little you make my heart buzz. This thing opens up and there are a bunch of heart chocolates in there. So I think, I believe it was Jennifer that made that one also. Um, <clears throat> this is another cute little box, right? With some more daisy paper that says, so thankful for you. This was one that Melissa made. Love that ribbon. I need, I don't know if that... That might be retired, but I feel like I need some more white ribbons. So I have to check my stash on that. Oh, here's another one of the pillow boxes. I think that Jennifer made this one too. So she stamped a little bit on the box and made the little happy Valentine's Day. So cute, simple, right? <coughs> These girls go crazy, let me tell you. Stacy made this one. Isn't this so cute? Another little, I don't know, is that like a little mouse or something? And she loves, she's got a bunch of those little magnets, right? So she, this is just so cute, right? All the little, I have no idea. She's always finding things like on Pinterest and YouTube. So we'd have to ask her where she got that. But you can kind of see lots of scoring and probably not as, I don't know. She's pretty patient. I was going to say it might not be as difficult as it looks, but it could be. I can't really say for sure. Here's another little treat box, right? So that sweet sorbet ribbon 
with the little bees. So cute, right? Empty. Chocolates were in there. Actually, I think maybe, I feel like I might even need one of these right now. These little, these are like a chocolate, like a heart. It says melt away on it. Plus, I love the um the wrapper on here. So pretty, right? Uh Valentine-y, I'm sure. Oh, and then look at this cute little, the little, I don't know, chickadee. <coughs> Excuse me, and I'm pretty sure Stacy made this one too. Oh, there are some more chocolates in there. This one hasn't been opened yet because it's so stinking cute. I don't want to mess it up. Um, but yeah, it looks like some more um, little chocolates in there. I have to break into those at some point. And then lastly, look at this cute little baby too. And I did, so I did open this up and it kind of like folds, like it's just this little piece right here and then these things fold out. So Stacy made these as well. I opened it, took the chocolates out and then tied it back up. And it's not as easy as you'd think to um, get it tied back up. So I'm not gonna untie it just cause you know, I might not be able to get it tied back up again. So anyway, so those are all these little things that the girls make when we're hanging out together at our Craft-O-Rama weekend, which we had so much fun. We always have such a great time hanging out with each other and sharing stories and making stuff. So much fun. Okay, there we go. Scoot that out of the way. Um, I think I just want to give you a quick reminder about our class to go. So the Notes of Nature class to go, featuring the stamp set and the dies, the gold faux leather trim, the cork rounds, and the Nature Sweetness Designer Series paper. Okay, so gold kind of accents on one side, and then some more kind of natural, beautiful tones on the other side. You get a quarter of a pack of the Designer Series paper. If you want details, I will include the link on um, this Facebook Live video or above the Facebook Live video. But basically, RSVPs are due for this class to go by next Thursday, February 29th. Basically, everything ends next Thursday, the last day of February. But these are the cards that you could make. We make two of each of these cards in our class to go. Okay, so if you have any interest in signing up for this, I would really love if you can sign up sooner than later. Um, because I head out of town next Friday the 1st. <laughs> and so I know it's going to be this whole crunch of trying to get everything done. So if you're able to sign up sooner, then I can get your order in sooner. And I make sure everyone is all good to go before I go away on vacation. Because I really am actually hoping to even prep these um, cards, maybe like probably beginning, middle of next week is what I'm hoping. So I'm kind of pushed that RSVP deadline out. But if you know that you want to do it, let me know so I can get everything ordered and prepped for you sooner than later. And then also don't forget about my club member drive. So for example, if you were interested in this class to go, you could become a member of the class to go club. Basically, you choose option number one or number two. Uh, every single month for 12 months, you sign up for whichever one that you want, and then you get $30 in free host product one month that you're the host and then as well you always get cute little club member treats from me so also club member drive you get to pick a free celebration item right now during our club member drive which again ends on next thursday february 29th okay i think we are ready to do our stamping ladies <coughs> okay yeah we got this right all right i'm gonna quick sip water mm -hmm. Okay, so the first card I'm going to share is a super simple card featuring that Sunny Days Designer Series paper and just a simple fold. So we've got, hope your birthday is wonderful. You are loved beyond measure. And just some fun. So there's that stamp from, what did I do with that? Is it right here? It is. Yeah. So again, from our Hooray for Surprises stamp set, we've got that stamp right there. Okay, so let's, and also perennial postage. This, I just love the stamp set. I've used so many different sentiments in here. So here, this is the one we're gonna use this. You are loved beyond measure. I'm glad you enjoy being a club member too, Miss Philomena. Thank you for saying that. Okay. Let's see, I'm pulling everything out. We gotta do one. I'm like, how much die cutting do we need to do? But not too much. Okay, so simple, simple, simple card. Like, as Philomena says, simple but elevated. How's that? 
Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are going to start, let me scoot that little guy out of the way. So this originally was a full sheet of thick basic white cardstock, okay? So we've got along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches. We actually also along this eight and a half inch side, we cut it down to seven and a quarter. So you probably want to do that first. So if your was eight and a half by 11, you're going to take the eight and a half inch side, cut it down to seven and a quarter, and then cut it at, in half at five and a half, and then score it again, as usual, at four and a quarter, okay? Then we have this piece of Sunny Days Designer Series paper that measures five and one quarter by two and three quarters, and that's going to layer right on there. Beautiful floral paper, right? And then the fun little rainbows. That one's pretty cute. That could be kind of fun, too. Maybe we'll do that one on that side this time. Yeah, why not? Because then that actually coordinates even more with that pool party crinkled ribbon. Free. So, lot. oh my gosh, I use so much. Free with a $50 order, the ribbon. Free with a $50 order, the gems. Also, the designer series paper free with a $50 order so actually this won't be backwards so I will show you guys this one more time such a fun rule and this was one that I missed for a while did not excite me at first and I've seen so many cute projects made that now I'm totally loving it so there's the sunny days one side and then not backwards or inside out or whatever right when I have the camera the other way so yeah you can get that for free as well 12 sheets of 12 by 12 cardstock. Okay, so let's do, okay, so the one thing is, I wonder if I can, if I scoot that underneath there, you guys can still see it, right? Let's see, make that even. Okay, so I'm trying to make sure, I wanna stamp my shaded spruce, this You Are Loved Beyond Measure. I did got ink, now I gotta make sure. The ink on my finger and then, um, we're going to put this here. I really like using that work surface and make sure we're not upside down. So here we go. There it is. You are loved beyond measure. Nice, easy tap, tap, tap. Press straight down, lift straight up. Okay, good. That one worked, right? Then we also, where did I put that? I need a scrap piece of paper because I'm going to stamp. Do, 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 do. Here we go. I'll just use this. We're gonna put this behind here because I want to stamp on the inside like I did on this one right here. I'm gonna stamp that flower, but it's gonna go off the edge. And I don't, you can see there has been some stamping <clears throat> that's happened, but I generally, that's usually a class. It wasn't me, it was somebody else, but you know, not gonna name any names because I have no idea <laughs> who it would have been. But so I like to kind of, preserve that if I can. So isn't that beautiful though? Love that stamp too. So fun, huh? Okay, so we're good with that ink. And then we are going to get that little scrap paper out of the way. We are also going to stamp in pool party ink because of course that coordinates with our pool party ribbon and our pool party gems. Um, where's my stamp? Here it is. Okay, we're going to just keep that little work surface, right? So we've got this Hope your birthday is wonderful. Press straight down, lift straight up. Okay, I think, you know what? I'm a little worried that, because I actually um, was too close to the edge on, can you guys kind of tell? It's not quite, <laughs> it's missing a little something on the edge there. So I'm gonna, I just scooted that one over. And you guys know this, right? This paper is thick enough. You do not see it, especially with that color. If you hold it up to the light, you can, but you're gonna put it on a card. And so you won't even, you won't even see through it at all. Okay, we're gonna clean these off real quick just so I don't get that shaded spruce ink on anything I don't want it on later once I toss all this back in the tub, right? Okay, there we go. Uh, so let's do our die cutting and then <coughs> we can put our card together. Okay. All right. Let's see here. This one and where are my dies? They're right here. Everything is all stacked up. <laughs> 
so I'm having a hard time finding things. Okay, so my most loved, most used, I think I've used them every week since I got them, the Thoughtful Expressions dies. Love these labels, cannot stop using them, right? I'm, I know I used them last week because I can see I still have my die out to uh, make more cards to send thank you kits to everybody for their online orders. Okay, here we go. We're gonna crank this little baby through. Okay, and you guys are gonna love the next card I'm gonna share with you. I decide I'm gonna show the simple one first and then we're gonna have lots and lots of fun with the next card too. Okay, so I think we are ready. Uh, okay, so this one I want to make sure so yeah, that's the bad side, right? Lori, hello and welcome. Okay, so we're gonna put these, we want these up at the top because you don't want them way down at the bottom or you won't be able to open your card, okay? So keep that in mind that you put those in the right spot there. Okay, let's see, we're gonna grab our adhesive. Oh yeah, I'm gonna try this side. We're gonna do this one. You guys tell me which one you like better, the flowers or the rainbows. I think they're both very pretty. But we'll do this one with the rainbows so you guys can see both sides of the paper, right? Okay, so again, don't put them down too low because you won't be able to open your card. Okay, so we're going to do that there. And then we're going to tie this super cute. I love this ribbon. This is one I think I definitely need more of the crinkliness. Is so cute on this. I don't think I, there we go. See, I wasn't sure I gave myself enough to actually make the bow, but I think we've got it here. There we go. Where are my scissors? Grab those. Okay. So if you guys are enjoying the video today, make sure you hit the like and the share. Also, oops, I did not do that. <coughs> very well. I am um, over on, geez Louise, Amy, the talking and doing at the same time is tough, isn't it? That crinkly thing made it a little bit harder to trim, but I think, here, let's do this one too. If I hold the bottom of it, um, I'm over on Instagram. So check me out over there too. We're having some fun. I can do these things called reels over there where I film a video and then speed it up. So you get to see like super fast how to make a card. <laughs> having so much fun with those. So go check me out. It's under Gathering Inspiration. You can search uh, Gathering Inspiration or Amy Ferlici, either one. Find me over there on Instagram. So having some fun with that as well. Um, okay, what else do we need? Oh, the little gems, right? And then I should show you Nikki. Hello and welcome. Um, grab my scissors again. We're going to add just a couple of little dots here. So let's bring this one back into view just so I don't have to think too hard about where I'm going to put <clears throat> one little dot there, sparkly little gem, right? And then we're going to put one there and one there. And there we go. We've got your, hope your birthday is wonderful. You are loved beyond measure. And then that little cuteness on the inside, right? So either one, Phil Philomena says she loves them both. I love them both too. So whichever you're you're up for, if you want flowers or you want rainbows, so cute, right? But obviously super duper simple. This card was inspired because I've done this so much lately by this cute swap. I don't have who made it, but I've kept it and used it from time to time over the years. She did some stamping on there with, um, these are retired stamps, so I can't even remember the name of them, but I love just that super simple fold. So inspired me to make that card right there. Okay, so let's see, we're gonna scoot this stuff out of the way and I will show you our next card. Are we using that perennial postage? No, I can't remember if I'm using that again or not. I don't think I am. Let's see, next card. Okay, let me show you, because this is so fun. Oh, sip of water, hold on. <laughs> okay. This card was inspired by Nancy Gulick. She brought, I'll show you in just a sec, 
But do you see the designer series paper? It looks complicated, doesn't it? And it's really super duper simple. Okay, let me show you. So Nancy brought this card to our team meeting and she um, did a demonstration and kind of showed us how to make this card. And I was like, oh, Nancy, I love that card. So thank you, Nancy, for your inspiration. And I'm going to show you guys how to make this card right now too. But isn't that so cute? So again, inspired by Nancy. And then this is the one we're going to make today. Okay, let's see. We'll get a couple things out here too. Choo -choo -loo. That punch also, don't we? Okay, so, oh yeah, I do need this. I was getting rid of that designer series paper, but I actually do need to show you guys that. Okay, so we are going to start. Here is our designer series paper. Again, the sunny days with those cute little uh, butterflies on the back side. Okay, so this is a six by six piece of designer series paper that we cut down. Well, I say six by six, but it ended up being six by five and a half. So six here, five and a half here. You guys don't forget, as always, I will include the measurements, the product codes, the names of everything, colors, all that good stuff, all the details on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com this afternoon so that you can order and recreate any of these projects or order through me using that host code and I'll send you these cute projects as well. Okay, so the other thing you need to know is we scored along the six inch side at four and a quarter inches, okay? So that's going to be the start of our card base. Then we have another piece of designer series paper. This one measures four and a quarter by five and a half. So that's our standard kind of card front. And then that just fits right inside there. And we're going to just adhere that right along there. Let's just do that right now, actually. Okay, so we're going to, oops, got to get that running again, right? Runner adhesive. So I think it's easiest if you just slip this right inside there, line it up, and fold. And there you go. And there's your card base. Isn't that, it's so simple. Like you'd never, it looked so much more. I was like, how did you do that, Nancy? So I had to bring it home and check it out and figure it out. Okay, so then we have a piece of basic white cardstock that's going to go right there. The standard four by five and a quarter. Use that all the time. Okay. And then I just have some pieces of basic white to do our stamping and punching, and then petal pink, poppy parade, shaded spruce to do our die cutting right there, okay? So let's do our stamping. So what do we have? We've got this one. We'll do our sentiment first right here. So we've got sending you lots of love. Again, from our Hooray for, Hooray for Surprises stamp set, right? Sending you lots of love. And then on the inside, we've got the You're the Best with those cute little flowers that are right there. Okay, so here we go. Sending you lots of love. Put that one right on there. And we are going to just punch that, get that done and right out of the way. Yes, the colors are beautiful, aren't they, Philomena? <clears throat> of course, I can't take any credit for the colors. They are inspired obviously directly from the designer series paper so poppy parade matches that poppy parade right there oops actually i need that for those little flowers don't i and then we've got the you're the best okay so nice easy tap 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 press straight down lift straight up again this one is uh crushed curry ink and then these totally cute Little flowers I love. Like I can sprinkle these little flowers everywhere on everything because I just think they're so stinking cute. Okay, again, we are gonna clean these things off. I'm just always so afraid I'm gonna get ink in places that I don't need or want ink. But such a cute, simple, fun stamp set there. All right, let's do our die cutting. So we're gonna die cut all of those little babies and I'll show you, can I find that again? Yeah, so these are the dies, the notes of nature dies that I've used a million times, right? So I use these little spriggy things right there. I used them right there. You can, I used them on the class to go, obviously a bunch of times. These are the dies, right? What I'll also show you guys is, this is kind of fun too, this long one, I cut in half. So that, eh, or is it that right there? Maybe it's right there. Anyway, 
it's somewhere from this die. I used part of it. Yeah. I used this part first, and then I've got this second half from the top that we're going to use on the other one. So because it's so long, you don't even need to do, you know, if you want it long, you can, but we are going to use these other little babies. So we're going to use this one and this one and this one. Okay. Scoot the rest of these out of the way. We're going to grab our die cutting machine. Let's scoot this stuff up here. Okay. So yeah, great set of dies. I love just all the little spriginess. Um, the texture that's created. So our little baby in shaded spruce, <coughs> the kind of medium size in petal pink, and then the largest one in poppy parade. Okay, so we're going to just crank these through. And then the back side. And we'll see if I get lucky. If any of these, that one did, right? That one did not. Okay, so that one's good. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to try to... There we go. <laughs> Usually if you fling them, there we go. <laughs> it's my, like, the, for me, that's a little bit easier than finding my paper piercing tool. I don't know. Okay, let's get these guys out of the way. But I am going to put them right on my silicone mat. Let's get those over in the corner there. Uh, so that I'll be able to easily add my adhesive to them. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to put some dimensionals <coughs> behind our sentiment. Okay, oops. I think, let's see. Let's bring these back in. I want to make sure I've got the back side of each of these. Okay, so we're going to add this one. I think that's the only one. I'm going to just put on the card, then I'm going to peel off. <laughs> you fling too. <laughs> that sounds almost inappropriate, Philomena. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I love that. Uh, I want to say, do you fling? I fling. Do you fling? I fling too. <laughs> That's very cute. Okay. And then we're going to just, so you guys see, right? If you use your little silicone mat, how easy it is to add adhesive to your little bits, and then we're just kind of layering these behind our sentiment, our little popped up sentiment. There we go, right? So then, of course, the last little details, right? Because this is, this, oh, actually, we got to put this one in here, too. And the other thing, when you add this on the inside, it kind of helps make <clears throat> your card a little bit more substantial because otherwise maybe it's a little bit flimsy with just designer series paper. <laughs> yes, a good laugh for sure, Philomena. Uh, but this, so that card stock kind of thickens it up a little bit, I guess I would say. But can you see how much is added to uh, to a card? So this is good, right? And then you just add a little bit more texture with the ribbon and with the bling. I just, I love kind of adding just that little bit of extra right? The little extra texture. And this ribbon is so easy to work with too, this sweet sorbet. So this is obviously going to be retiring, I think. It could definitely uh, work as Poppy Parade too, but in terms of colors that are retiring, sweet sorbet is retiring. <coughs> so let's see, I need to rip this off, don't I? Because I'm always like, where's the last glue dot? Okay, so we're going to add that little bow on there, and then the bling, right? Because as Linda says, bling is king, right? So we have, these are the Petal Pink and Pretty Peacock. I think they're foiled gems, they're called. It's funny because the green actually would be kind of fun. Let's do that. Let's do, let's do the pretty, yeah, that's kind of fun. We're going to do those instead. We'll see if you like these that kind of show up a little bit more. Obviously, the other ones blend in. A little bit, but these are super pretty too, aren't they? Right? There we go. So either one, right? Beautiful. So there we go, ladies. Projects are complete for the day, right? So I'm going to show you guys this and then I'm going to modify it a little bit because I realized I didn't quite fix it. Spring break special, even better. 
<coughs> than normal. You're going to get both of these projects as a thank you from me, plus five additional handmade cards. You're also going to get your name in the drawing to win the Excellent Eggs stamp set. And you don't even have to choose. You're going to get the free embellishment and the PDF tutorial. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I truly appreciate your online orders. Make sure you use that host code right there. And I will see you guys back here in just a few weeks on Friday, March 22nd. All right. So have a good couple of weeks. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll be in touch on our Facebook group. If you need anything in the meantime, please let me know. I'm always checking email, text, phone calls, messages on Messenger, Anywhere you can get a hold of me. I try to keep up with it all. All right. Thanks, ladies. Have a good couple of weeks and we'll see you soon. And don't forget, celebration ends next Thursday. Bye, everybody.